Well, today we're going to be playing some Black Powder Red Earth, and I don't think there's a single game on the market right now that gets as close to action against the Taliban or groups like it as this game does. Of course, it's focused in the future with private military companies, but it's just such a deep game with deep mechanics here, and we're going to jump in and take a look at some of the operations uh, just to see what a fight in this game is like, and hopefully we can get through to the very end. There are a number of different operations we can take. We're going to take a line tundra, and we're actually going to go for a raid. Now, there's any number of different ones we could take, as I said, including exfiltrating a high-value target. So essentially, a target that's got some information um, for us about insurgent locations or potentially insurgent weapons caches, as well as a high-profile attack over here. Um, and in this situation, we just try to evacuate the area before we're overrun by extremists. I think I'm going to go for a raid um, to really test out the combat here, move in, kill an HVT, and extract with our pi private military contractors. Let's see how things go, folks. As you can see, we are moving through the city under cover of night. With minimal activity, Jihadist Foot Patrol shut down for the night, preparing for the next martyrdom operation. Now, that might certainly help us. You can see those little cards that pop up, and those determine kind of how the night's going to go. Um, now, you can be hit by so many different enemies in this game, including suicide bombers, um, including just good old jihadis. But over here, we have a very interesting thing that just occurred. We found our high-value target. Typically, you don't find him this early on, um, but we are going to approve the drone strike on this building, and hopefully, we can wipe him out right now. It depends where he actually exits the building. As you can see here, ducted prop switched to full burn in the few seconds of flight. Time needed to deliver the warhead. Like a revving chainsaw punctuated in an explosion, the signature of the switchblade drone is unmistakable. I am not seeing the enemy, but this certainly um, got the enemy's attention. There they are right there, guys. I see the high value target. Now, here's the interesting thing. If we are in this blue area, we can't open fire. Um, we'd be out of movement points. If we have that white area, we can still open fire. So I'm going to just remain on this side of the building for now. It's often not a good idea to stack the team up. Um, it can lead to some issues, of course. But I'm going to go against my own rules and hope that the enemy is unaware of our presence here. Sometimes in the game you can use something called the kinetic um, energy, I believe, or kinetic effects, which would allow us to use some reactionary fire, but we're not at that point right now, so let's just hope, let's just hope that the enemy doesn't attack us. Another thing we could do is select a target to strike here and just wipe the enemy out with a drone strike. Now this is a kill mission, it's not a capture mission, so I'm calling in the drone strike and hoping for the best. He is down, folks. That is a mission objective completed. Of course, there are different ways to do these missions. If you want, you can move in with your PMCs and take them out, um, you know, with your weapons. We didn't do that this time, but we are currently compromised because of that. So we're going to continue to advance, and now we need to get to an exfil location or an extraction point as quickly as possible. The Mamluka Hotel. It's a jihadist front where recruits wait until their final posting is determined by the Islamic Emirate leadership. We've got to be careful because quite often soldiers hang out in this area, um, Islamic Emirate soldiers, and if one of them comes outside, well, we're going to have a serious problem. Let's just keep looking for extract locations, guys. Relocate Connect Force to designated exfil. Let's see if we can find that designated exfil. I think it's going to be right there. So we have to make it across the map. Um, and for sure, they are going to come directly to the location where their leader was just attacked. We do have that kinetic force, but not currently enough points for it. Alright folks, wish us luck. Let's see what the enemy does, and let's see just how quickly they're, on to, they're onto us. Uh, maybe they won't actually come this way. We also have to determine a route to getting to the location we want to go to. Trusted local national asset is offered to provide detailed intel on an individual inside the battle space. Uh, that's okay. Not interested. I just want to keep on moving and get to that extract right over there. So let's make it across the street. 
That's going to be our first mission, is just make it across the road here. No, damn it! Oh, that was completely my fault, guys. My mistake. Um, let's hope that we can get this element out at least. Nice. Now, one good thing is you could still move past your men, so he's just going to watch the rear. In fact, I'll take cover behind this car. Now, keep in mind, just about everything can be a threat in this game. That could be an IED car for all we know. We're hoping that's not the case. Now, this is a jihadist fighter location right here, and if they pop out, obviously we're going to have some very, very serious problems. So I'm going to just try to get all of my guys on that side of the building if I can. Not all of them are going to be able to go, but at least most of them on that side of the building. So if they come out of this door, they won't immediately spot our men. And that's why mistakes like that are huge. Civilian came out, but we don't know if it's a civilian. A kinetic interrupt. A military-age male has eyes on the kinetic force. Time is now. Engaging all threats now to attempt preventing an escalation event. We could let this civvy go, or we could engage all threats. This is such a big risk. In this case, I'm going to give peace a chance. We better hope that this guy doesn't have um, a bomb on him. Bad turp. A local national asset employed by our client has provided intel on our operations to a known Islamic Emirate facilitator. Be advised, Islamic Emirate fighters have been positively identified at location and are moving to the kinetic force. He wasn't a good guy after all, folks. Um, a lot of people are going to say, yeah, I could have told you that. But we're going to keep moving. We're going to just ignore him. Um, move to our extract point. We have found a jihadist checkpoint. But so far, no jihadists have come out of it. So let's just push on. Don't even think I'm going to take him out. Typically, I'd shoot him, but you know what? He's going to get lucky this time because our goal is to escape this AO as soon as possible. In fact, if we can get him even farther away from that part of the street, I'd feel even safer. Now, the problem is we don't have that kinetic force. We cannot, and I repeat, we cannot um, have reactionary fire here, which makes things pretty complicated for us. If I want to, I think I can actually still get a shot on him. No, let's not do that, guys. Let's end the turn here. Hopefully, we move far enough away from the location that the enemy won't directly attack us. I see one Emirate fighter ahead. We're going to have to engage these guys for sure. Three Emirate fighters... And maybe some behind us. And for sure, this guy's going to give them our location. Ma virgins. We got to be careful here. These are suicide um, suicide vests uh, carrying um, fighters. Or some of them are. Not necessarily the ones we see here. But we need to keep moving to the location. We can't slow down. So here we go. We found a Bishar High Speed Internet Cafe. We can use that to shut down communications right now. But I'm not going to do that. Again, still waiting for that kinetic force. They've got some kinetic response there themselves. We've got to shut them down immediately. One down. And we can't get a second attack with him, unfortunately. But I am going to move to this location. Try to get the enemy from a distance. So we can keep on moving. Just amazing shots, guys. Absolutely amazing shots. Get this guy over here. And again, typically it's not good to keep these men together... Um, for obvious reasons, if a suicide bomber comes through, he's going to kill every single damn one of us. And you can see, there's a lot of Emirate fighters coming out of that shop, and I mean a lot of them, guys. Really tempted to try to get Amber 1-2 to try to get a shot here. But again, no kinetic force. Now, on missions where you do have kinetic force, um, it would be quite possible to... Uh, try and just do some reactionary fire here at this point though we've got to get the hell off this street and hopefully that group will not know where we've gone um, as you can see this street is pretty much cut off there's no alleyway back here so we just need to move quickly guys really quickly <clears throat> to that extraction point what are you waiting for man all right guys Let's hope they don't find us. Here we go. Now, we can still call in um, an I, or, or I should say a drone strike. Unfortunately, we can't call it in now because we've already used it once. <clears throat> Damn, that guy's a terrible shot. 
We've got another Jihadi on us. Both of them firing at us as we try to escape here. A third on the way. Man, they might get us, but as long as none of them have a suicide vest, we could be okay. We definitely want to engage all threats. We've got that kinetic force. Look at that, folks. One down. I was hoping to get every single one of them, but it looks like the two behind us um, did not get shot. Nonetheless, I am continuing towards the exfil location. Before we leave, of course, let's take out these targets. One down. Here we go, folks. Man, what a hell of a mission. Ooh! That's right, we don't want to move because they have the kinetic force currently. So we're going to turn around and knock him out. By knock him out, I mean putting a bullet through his brain. So he's definitely not going to survive this fight. Uh, but we will push forward with the rest of the team. And let's just hope that the rest of these guys aren't on to us. We have found another Jihadi checkpoint. So certainly they could come out of here at any moment and just cause us a lot of problems. In the meantime, though, um, I'm hoping that we can get to that extract before that even occurs. The fact is, we have, compl we have completed our mission, killed a ton of enemies on the way, and if they find us, there is not going to be any chance for surrender. Fortunate son, Jihadi's vest, detonate without warning. Bad wiring or careful preparation, get ready guys. One of them is about to explode, hopefully not near us. And that does happen, I've actually had missions where the target was wiped out by a suicide vest. There's one guy out, let's get the second guy out here guys. Third guy, and I believe we have a successful mission here. Unbelievable. We managed to um, accomplish a, a successful raid, but of course, this was a pretty sloppy one. There are much better ways to do this. Um, and there we go, guys. A PMC victory. I love to see the burning um, Emirate and, of course, some dead Emirate fighters. That's just, again, a look at one of the operations. And um, maybe we'll jump into the campaign pretty soon. A fascinating game. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it.